Hello, good evening uh, to all of you out there from Sri Lanka. So RUSL Explorer is back with another interesting video uh, created in a very beautiful day, actually uh, a Thursday from uh, my home guard. So I born. Uh, welcome to the RUSL channel, RUSL Explorer channel once again. Well, uh, it's a beautiful uh, evening in Panadura, in my home country, Sri Lanka. So uh, today I'm going to make a video about uh, evening bird watching because I remember I uh, last uploaded a video about uh, early morning bird watching. So uh, let's uh, see which birds we can notice in the evenings, generally in uh, Sri Lankan home gardens. But before that, let's see the beauty of the surroundings from my home garden. So yes, as you see, uh, it's a beautiful day with great uh, sunset today in the city of Panadura. So I'm really loving these beautiful trees with the sunset on its leaves. So in the surrounding, I don't know whether you can, whether you can hear that call is uh, from a brown-headed barbit. Yeah, you can hear it quite clearly. Yeah, it's somewhere far away, maybe in the next home garden. So this is a papaya tree, uh, which is standing very tall in my garden. And many banana trees in front of you like this. Right, so we'll see uh, what are the birds, or who are the birds we can see this afternoon, and mainly in the evening. Right, so uh, the very first bird we see in this evening is a uh, babbler. And, uh, they, have actually, they are actually three fellows on this roof and these are the yellow bill babblers and they are actually a very uh, uh, famous uh, resident birds that can be uh, seen in uh, many home gardens. So the Rufous babbler is the endemic one to uh, my country. So here are the fellows once again. You can see them. Uh, there are four birds uh, perched on this uh, electrical power line. So these birds are also called the seven sisters because generally you can see them in uh, flocks of uh, seven birds. It's so very uh, timid and uh, very difficult to uh, photograph them. Uh, this is the other fellow. So uh, this is a bird that you can easily see in uh, Sri Lankan home garden. So if you come to Sri Lanka, don't forget to uh, have a sneak peek of these birds. So let's see some more birds. Patiently wait. Right, uh, so the next bird we can see here is the uh, uh, purple rump sunbird. In local language, this, is, uh, this bird is known as uh, Malkurulla, sorry, uh, Malsutika. So, yeah, it's a very interesting bird, but uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, worried about my filming. So, actually, this is a male bird. The female bird is a uh, brownish yellow color and not colorful like this. So, this is the purple rump sunbird. There are uh, other lot of sunbirds that can be seen in my country like the long bill sunbird, the red drum sunbird, etc, uh, etc. Et so this is also another common bird that can see in uh, many home gardens in Sri Lanka. Yes, it's uh, see, watching at me. Right, so let's say uh, bye bye to this uh, purple drum sunbird. So here's the common tailor bird, which is a very small bird that can be seen uh, very commonly in home gardens in Sri Lanka. So it's a very timid one, need a lot of patience to actually record them. So uh, it's a very uh, active bird. So locally it is known as uh, Batticha. 
so it's gone away but still there it's a really interesting bird so active not that colorful though it is there is uh, more to look at these actions so it makes uh, more interesting so it's the fellow so under the dark light uh, it's difficult to get some uh, clear footages anyhow I'll try the best so it's really uh, it's really a uh, uh, difficult to get footages under these uh, lower light conditions. So he's the fellow. It's a really active bird. By its uh, elongated uh, tail wings, you can say that it is a matured uh, bird because there is one uh, tail feather longer than uh, all the others. So it's a really matured one. It's not a juvenile, not an old one, but surely it's a, a matured one. So this is the common tailor bird or the uh, butt teacher that can be seen uh, very commonly in uh, Sri Lankan home gardens. So let's say bye bye to this feathered friend. It's really difficult to get a close view because it can see us clearly. It's going away, it's hiding away. It saw me coming closer. So it's okay, bye bye feathered friend. Let me, uh, let's meet once again. So here's a yellow bill babbler once again. Staying in my home garden. So there's a flock of them uh, with uh, more than 12 birds. Really shy, really timid fellows. Very difficult to shoot. Need a lot of patience. So bye bye, let them go. Well, uh, uh, amidst this uh, bird watching, I would like to show you uh, an interesting uh, sunset which can be uh, seen from my home garden. So it's uh, really nice. In the uh, west flank of the sky, it's bluish color with this beautiful, like, uh, light yellow white clouds and the opposite side you can see it's the color of the clouds it looks like this with pinkish color clouds with blue and white backgrounds so beautiful so you can admire nature's beauties in all directions when you're doing bird watching look so look or see how nice this evening it is from sri lanka and also you can see some dark clouds far away and also here goes a flock of, uh, uh, I think should be uh, pond herons, beautiful. So they generally fly from uh, uh, north to west uh, in the evenings and in the opposite direction in the mornings. So lots of uh, cranes, intermediate grids fly uh, from this side to the other side of this uh, sky over my home garden. So really interesting evening in front of the camera so there are more birds to come let's uh, have a look at them as well while enjoying the beautiful sunset well uh, the time is around uh, 6 uh, 20 pm uh, on 15th of uh, april uh, actually a thursday evening so uh, uh, i was able to show you uh, several birds in this evening bird watching show so we saw the uh, uh, yellow bill babblers then we saw the uh, uh, butterflies or the common tailor bird then we saw a flock of uh, pond herons then what else we saw uh, uh, actually we heard the brown headed barbit and also i saw the uh, black hooded orioles then uh, minas and the rosewing parakeet which i couldn't show you so uh, it's gradually getting darker, darker, and I can't uh, shoot out uh, clear images. So uh, I need to wrap up the bird watching uh, series. I mean, the evening bird watching story. Uh, so I think uh, it's time to wrap up. Uh, but uh, we'll see uh, to get some more footages under these uh, difficult conditions. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, lots of uh, migrant bird species visited uh, in the migratory season. In Sri Lanka, so uh, I saw the uh, forest wagtail, 
the Indian Paradise Flycatcher, Asian Brown Flycatcher, and uh, the Blue Tail Beaters. But they are no more in my home garden. They have flown away to their destinations, their original destinations. So that's it about the migrant birds. Lots of birds still uh, flying from uh, actually north to west. Uh, we'll uh, wait a couple of minutes patiently and see whether we can uh, shoot more bird actions. Right, so it's uh, getting dark uh, little by little. So I think we have to wrap up the uh, bird watching for today's evening. So uh, we saw uh, many birds, mainly the residents in uh, my home garden. And also I would like to uh, mention uh, there were a couple of uh, migratory species who visited my home garden, but all they all left uh, mid-March. Uh, so uh, actually they are no more in my home garden. They will come once again in uh, uh, mid-October of this year. So the migrants are gone away. Bye-bye to all of you. I'm sure they'll, you will uh, reach your destination safe and come back again to my country, my home garden. So uh, what I need to tell you is, uh, if you haven't done bird watching, even in a very small scale, start it. That's why I'm uh, creating these videos, just to uh, encourage you. So uh, feel free to ask questions also under the comment section. So though you all put likes and subscribe, you don't ask any questions. So feel free to do that as well. So that's why I'm uh, creating these videos. So uh, thank you very much if you watch the uh, evening bird watching video created myself today uh, from the beginning. I appreciate a lot. Hope I uh, encourage you and enthralled you by putting you uh, all into the Mother Nature's laps. So that's all for today's uh, video. Thank you for joining uh, with me in the bird watching evening session from my home garden. Uh, hope you'll also uh, start it and inspired and also you'll inspire the other people as well. Yeah, uh, so that's all. Uh, if you're interested, if you want to see videos like this, you know what to do and I will also definitely help you uh, without any doubt. So bye bye to all of you out there. Stay safe. I bow on. Let's meet once again next week with another new, with another new video.